Hey everyone, this is Angie at Stampin' with Amore. Welcome to my channel. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and if you are new, please subscribe and hit that bell for notifications each time I upload a new video. So today is another treat box. So it could be fall, it could be Halloween, whatever you want it for. I did use Grateful on this one but it is a window box. I love doing windows. If you've been around long, you know that I love doing windows. And this one is a pumpkin window. So we decorated the pumpkin on here. But what inspired this <laughs> were these new Dove chocolates that I found. Oh my goodness, y'all, you have to try these. If you're a white chocolate person, you need to try it. I love white chocolate, so these were really up my alley, but the white chocolate pumpkin pie with graham flavored crisps. So it's got these little crunchy bits in it. Oh my gosh, I'm selling the Dove, but <laughs> it's really, really good. And if you like white chocolate, you're going to love those. All right, so this is what we are making today. It's really um, holds six of these Dove chocolates and the pattern on them is so cute. There's different patterns. So there is this little pumpkin and I did a Cajun craze because of the color of this but I'm going to do a pumpkin pie one this time but look at the little plaid this has these have little pumpkins on them this has a bunch of different pumpkins and there's a few of these I'm going to put a couple different ones in here but um yeah they're so cute I think I'm going to put another one of these in there just for variety <laughs> So we'll change that one up. Oh, this one says Happy Harvest. Oh, that's awesome. I, that's the first one I saw that said Happy Harvest. But aren't they really cute? Sometimes candy just inspires me. So that's how this box came about. So this is what I am sharing today. It's really a fun one. But like I said, you can use it for Halloween if you want and just use a different sentiment. You can put boo here or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this is what I'm sharing. So let's get started. So for this, what you are going to need is I am using the cottage wreaths again. And I'm just using it for the grateful. But look at here. There's a boo here. You can use that. And you can even put a little spider on there if you want to make it for Halloween. Why don't we make this one for Halloween since I'm doing it in um, pumpkin pie. So let's go ahead and do that while we have it. All right, and then I'm using the Country Wreath Dies, and I'm only using this one for this little leaf. So if you have a leaf punch or any other kind of leaf, you can use that. And then I'm using the Rustic Pumpkin Dies as well. And these come with the Hello Harvest bundle. And I'm using that for the cutout of the pumpkin, and I'm using it for the top of the pumpkin and these little swirls for the pumpkin. So we are cutting those out and then I'm using the Regal's Designer Series paper and this time I'm using this stripe instead of the plaid. This is the plaid I used on the other one. So you can tell me at the end which one you like better in the comments and I would appreciate that. I hope this is bright enough for you. I had to turn off my overhead light because whenever I'm using window sheet on these windows you can see it, it has quite a glare. So to cut down on the glare, I just turned my overhead light off this time. So I hope you're seeing this very good. All right, so what you'll need is a piece of pumpkin pie. This is eight and a half by three and a half. You can make three out of one sheet of cardstock, which is really economical. <laughs> so then you'll need to mat it. You're going to need a piece two and a half by three and a half, and I'm only matting the front. If you want to do the back, you need to cut two, of course. The window sheet is two and a quarter by three. And then for the sentiment, this is one a piece one half, but I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna cut it shorter. All right, so let's get started with this. So what we are gonna do, we're gonna score this. It's really easy scoring and everything. This is a pretty easy box. So on the eight and a half inch side, you're gonna score it at one half. It's I used my other, let me do that again, at one half, at one, four and a half, and five. And then you're going to turn it on the three and a half inch side, you're going to do it at one half, 
and three, or one half on each side. I always have to go off, don't I? Every single video. I don't do this when I'm doing my things. I think because I'm doing it at a little bit of an angle, but oh my goodness, it all, I always do that. It's not going to bother. It's going to have um, matting on the front there. All right, so that's all of that. We're going to cut this, and you are going to cut on, this is the one that has two half inch um, score marks here, so you're going to cut down here all the way to the second score mark. I'm going to cut it across here, and we are going to cut into these. These are just going to be little in, inside flaps. And then I'm going to cut on that too. Do the same on this side. Cut down to that second across here. These are really cute ones. These would be cute for like classrooms, even like a nursing home or a senior center. They love little things like this, and that's quite a bit of candy in there because there's six pieces. So it makes a really good gift. So on the sides, we're going to cut into these. Just like that. And then there's a little sticky thing here and all these pieces want to stick to it. We're going to sharpen all these score marks. Okay, so we have it all ready to go. This is going to be our front piece right here. So it's going to fold up like this. So what you want to do is mat this side right here. So I'm going to mat that. I don't know if I have any more. I think that I ran out of my... Yeah, I'm out of this. So I'm going to use my wet glue. I just have an order coming today, in fact, with all my supplies in it. All right, come on. All right, so we are matting this piece right here and it's gonna cover the whole front. And you want it to cover the whole front because we are gonna cut the pumpkin out of this. I'm gonna be using my little mini cut and emboss because yes, I remember to bring it up here. And we are going to cut the little window out. So I am going to, it, it can't be more than um, like three, three and a half, four inches wide. So that worked out perfectly. So we are going to cut the window out here. So we're going to put the pumpkin here in the center. I'm going to put it more towards the bottom here. I'm going to use my little mint tape here to hold that down and then we're going to run this through and this is pretty thick so it takes a little effort to send it through so that is our little pumpkin. Save this because look how adorable that is. It's embossed and everything and you can use this as well. So there's our little pumpkin cut out. So now let's cut out our pieces that we're going to need for this. So we need two, these two right here for our, I already cut out one other um, little leaf. So I didn't have to run this through again. So we're going to do one more leaf, and then we're going to do with our little top of our pumpkin. And that's soft suede. This one shaded spruce and Cajun craze. Love this little one. It's so convenient, so much easier to use. It's great for taking with you if you go to like crops or anything like that. For like classes, it's really good to take with you. So there's the little swirlies. Aren't those cute? I love these little swirly. And then this is the top of our pumpkin and then our leaf. And I cut another leaf so we have two leaves. Just like that. 
I don't want to lose these, so I'm going to put these away. And these are all our pieces to add to the front of our box. But we are going to go ahead, put our window sheet in next. And I am, again, using wet glue for this. I need to fill this up. I think that's why I'm having issues with it. All right, and I am using the wet glue to hold the window sheet in. And that's going to go right there. I like it because it dries clear. You're not going to see the inside anyway, but sometimes I'm a little picky about those things. All right, so we are going to go ahead and we are going to add some stamp and Seal Plus. Use tear and tape or stamp and Seal Plus on this. Or you can use your wet glue if you're patient enough to sit and hold it. And then you're going to put these inside. And then you are going to pull this up and line up your sides. little off center this time. I didn't do very good about centering that. It may have moved on me, I'm not sure. All right, and then this is your box right here. But we're going to go with it because it's so cute. I'm going to go ahead and add the candy on the inside. Try to be sure to center it though. I want this one to show, so I'm going to put that one in. I'm going to do it on this side because it's so cute. It says, Happy Harvest. And I like the little plaid as well. It's cute. So six of them fit in there just perfect. All right, there you go. Now let's do this at decorate. We are going to cut a little bit off of that because it was to me it was a little bit too tall and we are going to put on the stem. And you know what I'm going to do? I am going to, let's go ahead and just finish the pumpkin. And then I'm going to grab the boo and the little spider. And we'll see what we can do with that. So we'll put that one up here. Just to show you there's so many variations that you can change things up. I'm going to do it this way. Okay, just like that. And I'm going to leave the leaves there for a minute. And then I'm going to grab some basic white. And I'm going to grab the stamp set. I didn't pull these pieces out because I was going to use the others. And we're going to try using the little spider as well. So we need to put them on some blocks here. And we're going to just use some Memento Black to stamp both of those. I'm going to stamp the boo on that half inch piece since I'm changing this up. And then we'll do this. And I think there is a die to cut that out as well. So let's look in here and see if there is. Yes, there is. So I am going to go ahead and I'm going to run this through. Let's see if I can get it off of here. It's on really tight. I'm going to run it through and then I'll come back with the cutout spider in just a minute. Okay, there's our little spider and we have our boo here. So, so let's see what we're going to do with this here. So this I ended up cutting to about one and three quarter inches. I'm going to banner that end. And I'm going to just put a little wet glue on the end here. Put that 
there. Where should we put this spider? I don't know, maybe on here. I think I'm going to put it on here, but I think I might pop it up. Let's go ahead and put our leaves on because I, I want to put the leaves on as well. And then we are going to let's see if I can put them that way this time. We're going to grab some, you know what I'm going to see? I might use this. Let's see. <laughs> I'm really changing up, ain't I? I used Baker's Twine before. But we may go back to the Baker's Twine if I don't like the way this looks. That's what's so fun about doing it. Um, I like the black because it it's cute for that. I don't know. I, I might use just the black baker's twine here. What I used before was this essential baker's twine essential pack. Let's see. Let's see what we're going to do here. All right, we're going with the flow, y'all. See, do I want just black here, black baker's twine, or should I go? No, let's go with the gingham. Let's go with the gingham. I'm just going to make it small. But I just like the, I just love this gingham ribbon, first of all. And I think it's cute with the I'm just gonna put it right there. I don't know. What do you think, y'all? What do you think? <laughs> you know, I used to do lives all the time, and it was so nice because I used to say, What which one do you want? You know, it's nice to have feedback. <laughs> I'm not sure, but it's really cute, the little spider on it. All right, let's put that there. And let's pop up with a little mini. Let's see if I have a mini here, yeah. A little mini dimensional under him. I don't know. This is just another idea for you. There you go. What do you think? I don't know. Here's the harvest one right here, the grateful. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm leaning towards this one, but I do love this gingham bow. But it, wouldn't, it didn't look good on here. I tried it. That's why I had it sitting here. All right, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. It was fun to try to change it up for you a bit. I hope you got some ideas. And if you need any supplies for this, you can shop on my blog at stampingwithamoria.com. Thank you all for watching. Here's my August host code. If you place an order, I'd appreciate you using it. And have a blessed day. I will catch you in the next one. See you later, everyone. Bye.